KCSN's Jack Miller, former Michigan Wolverine, former St. John Titan. Jack, we are we are just days, just days away from high school football two days. I get geeked up for it. Did you when you were a St. John Titan? <laughs> uh, that's a catch-22 there. Yeah. Because, yes, you're excited that football's back. Right. Um, you know, it's good to be back with your teammates and get out there. And, and with classes starting, too, I always found that football was a release from, you know, back at school and all the pressure of that. And, boy, how am I going to live up to the expectations from an academic perspective this year? Uh, but, no, two days are not fun. I don't think, <laughs> um, you know, you're getting beat up and it's, it's tiresome. Um, it's grueling. You're not getting ready for a game, so there's no – you know, hey, let's let up here and, and make people physically feel better. Right. It's, hey, let's challenge people and see who will, you know, rise to the occasion. So it's tough. And, uh, you know, football's a tough game. Tough people have to play it. But um, you know that you have to go through it, and you know that what's coming on the back end of the season, that's the fun part. That's the part you really get excited for. You've had a chance to see uh, football from both perspectives as far as the player, high school, college, and then as a coach. Uh, your perspective different from uh, on a two-a-day or on uh, multiple practices within a week uh, um, as a coach as opposed to a player? Yeah, absolutely it is. I mean, as a player, uh, unfortunately, uh, and coaches don't want to hear this, but, you know, <laughs> players are trying to. It, it, it depends, I think, what situation you're in, right, in your career. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're an established guy, it's, you know, how can I hone my craft? How can I get a little bit better? How can I lead this team and get all the pieces in place? If you're a guy who's trying to work into that starting rotation, it's, hey, i got to buckle down and prove my worth right now. And from a coach's perspective, um, they want to see it all, right? It, yeah. It's a testing ground. It's who's going to rise to the occasion, who can we count on, who can we trust, who are we throwing the ball to, who, you know, who are we running behind, those types of things in, in crucial situations that are going to happen in October and November. Mm -hmm. In camp, that's when the coaches really make their minds up about that kind of stuff. And, of course, as the season goes on, you know, guys start to come and go and whatnot. But, you know, camp's really the starting ground for all that and really lays the foundation for what the season's going to look like. Yeah, well, I, I still can't wait. I know that's going to be hot out for the kids, but I, I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so we are, are doing a series, if you've been watching BCSN here in the summer, no days off with the high school coaches, uh, and this week is Doug Downing from Northview. Now, you happen to be on the call with Mason Lowry for yeah. one of the greatest moments in Northwest Ohio sports in 2017. Springfield Northview comes down to the final seconds. What do you remember about that, that drive, that play, that game? Pandemonium, yeah. to be quite honest. I mean, it, it was back and forth. Uh, you know, Both teams playing incredibly hard, incredibly tough. And uh, Northview made a, just one heck of a play at the end of the game through a back shoulder fade. And the young man was able to turn around and snag it. And, yeah. and it really was. I mean, it was just one of those, you just scratch your head and say, man, how'd they pull that off? And uh, I, was, I, was, I was fired up. It was great to be on the call. And it was a great moment for Northview. And they practiced that play one time, Coach Downey told us. And for you, last year was your first year working BCSN up in the booth. Yeah. Uh, what kind of perspective did it give you? I mean, again, we talk about you played, you coached. But now calling the games, yeah. I mean, what's that like been for you? Yeah. It's different. It's a little bit easier, you know. I get to sit on my ivory <laughs> tower and just look down and judge everybody. So yeah. now it's now it's a little, you know, the pressure's off a little bit. Right. Uh, it's fun. It's a it's a fun way for me to stay around the game and and be around it at you know at the field level. Um, I've been excited to do it. It it is a different perspective. You're watching it from from the viewpoint of of almost a fan mm -hmm. with, with a with a great uh, view on it, but. Um, you know, you just have a, that much more respect for the coaches and the players and, and what they're doing and all the preparation that goes in when the majority of the country takes August for vacation and, you know, get back to school and kind of, okay, get back in the swing of things. You know, guys are up at the crack of dawn cracking pads and getting ready for everything that we get to enjoy on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the fall. And the free press box food is good, too. Right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Well, it depends good. on the location. You know, that's true, too. He's not lying. All right, he is Jack Miller, a part of BCSN's family. We get to see and hear him on the call for high school football coming up next month. Thank you so much.